Welcome back to Couch Talk, everybody. I'm Joe, and today we're here to talk about the trailer for the movie Bumblebee. This movie is directed by Travis Knight, and his only known thing that he's really done is Kubo and the Two Strings, which I thought was really good. It's like that whole like claymation thing, kind of like an Iowa Before Christmas. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, but that's like the only thing he's ever directed, I'm pretty sure. It stars Haley Steinfeld. She was in um, the True Grit remake uh, done by the Coen brothers that I loved. She's in uh, the Pitch Perfect series, or she's in one of them. I think she was in the last one, maybe. And uh, the other most notable character is John Cena, who's kind of still an up-and-coming star. Uh, he was most notably in Blockers, and I mean, everyone knows who John Cena is. And they brought back Peter Cullen to voice Optimus Prime, even though this movie isn't about Optimus Prime, it's about, of course, Bumblebee. Now, I believe there are four movies, or five? There's five movies. This is going to be the sixth movie. And out of all six movies, this is the first one that I feel like is a Transformers movie. And I know that doesn't really make sense, but um, let me explain. I loved the first Transformers, and I kind of started to hate them more and more as they went on. They slowly got worse, except for the first one with Mark Wahlberg. I liked that one a lot, but I hated the second one with him. But this movie is the first movie to me that feels like a Transformers movie, and it's mainly because it, it seems like a Monday morning or a Sunday morning cartoon brought to life. I mean, Michael Bay did what Nolan did with Batman in The Dark Knight. <laughs> he tried to make it like if this character were to exist in real life, you know, Bumblebee or a Transformer, what would they look like? And they were very like technical and like there's gears everywhere, and like it's kind of like what Nolan did with Batman, where in The Dark Knight. They gave him that like new suit where he could like turn his head and it had like rivets in it and it was easier to move. And I, I understand why they do that for the convenience of the character. But I don't go to see a Batman movie or a Transformers movie to understand how they work every time they transform. Uh, I want them to look cool. And I, I didn't like the whole uh, suit that Nolan gave Batman in The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. And I, I kind of started to get sick of watching Transformers transform because it was just like all... Like little metal blocks, just I don't know. It just it just got annoying after a while. But this it it really seems like a very basic back to the cartoon type of look. It seems very retro, and I'm very excited for it. It looks very lighthearted. It has some great stunning shots in the trailer, especially one where like Haley Steinfeld's running and behind her you see Bumblebee going like one on one with another character. And I think it also is kind of nice to have the spotlight shine on just him. Because it gives him a lot more character development. He was always a fan favorite, and I was always curious as to why he doesn't have a voice. And I was always curious as to who had him before Shia LaBeouf. And it is nice to see a little nod from Optimus Prime in it. Maybe we'll get a cool little, like, them fighting back-to-back -back in it. But hopefully nothing more, because I feel like if Optimus Prime was in this movie more, it would take too much away from Bumblebee's character. But at the heart of it, it's really a story about friendship between Haley Steinfeld and Bumblebee. And then you got John Cena, who's like the military guy that's, you know, trying to take Transformers down. Like before, you know, when the first Transformers came out, you know, they kind of formed like an alliance with like the military. But this takes place before that, and it kind of shows how humanity reacted to like these beings coming to Earth. And like, why are they here? Are they trying to kill us? Are they trying to help us? So I really like that dynamic. Uh, I like the music that they put in it. I think it's all really great. And I think it's going to have a lot of heart. For the first time since the first Transformers, years and years and years ago, I'm very excited to see one. They're finally done with Michael Bay's explosive uh, nonsense of a mind. It really seemed like he didn't care anymore towards the end of making those movies, and like he was kind of just making them for the paycheck. And this, it really seems like Travis Knight is putting his heart into it. I don't think he would have taken it if not for the fact that he had a lot of range with the script along with the writer to like kind of create what they wanted and they weren't like bound by like the Hollywood rules. Like a lot of times in Hollywood like studios like give you a list like you have to check off this, 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 and this and then you could like add your little flair in around that. But it seems like they were kind of like, yeah, this is a failing franchise so we're not going to step in and say anything, do what you want and hopefully it works and I hope it pays off because it looks really good. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited to see this movie? I know I am. Have you enjoyed all of the Transformers movies? Do you like the way the Transformers look now? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you next time.